Now we're going to actually use an RC, uh, but I forgot to mention one thing first, uh, which is why why they're all associated functions. You know, when you look at the uh, we looked at the uh, signature here, and it's RC colon colon get mute instead of uh, value dot get mute, and uh, the reason is uh, right in the next sentence, which is uh, avoids conflicts with methods of the inner type. So there's um, you know an RC uh, reference counter will surround the uh, the type and uh, and you know this type will probably have its own methods it could be like a struct and it has its own implementation block and methods and the uh, the easiest way to uh, to kind of work with it is to have the uh, RC's functions here and then you have the um, then you have the uh, the type inside and it can uh, use its own methods without uh, confusion so that is um, that's why they look kind of uh, kind of funny at first you're always doing the uh, RC colon colon kind of signature, but uh, you do get used to it. So uh, here we have um, I uh, I put together these two structs, and there's nothing um, nothing interesting here for uh, for you now. So uh, instead of typing it out, I just uh, pasted it in, and you can see we have this uh, the city struct. It's got a name, population, city history, and city data, and it is a um, a vec of strings and a vec of strings for histories and we imagine that we're going to have some uh, some cities and then we would like to make this city data struct and kind of like uh, reference the um, the names and the histories without um, without destroying the struct that uh, that it comes from so here we have uh, Calgary uh, the city called Calgary which is my hometown uh, name, population, city history, and we're imagining that this is the whole history. So it's like 300 pages. It's a really long string. Uh, it's a lot of data. So we don't want to uh, don't want to clone it. We would rather use a uh, a reference somehow. So that is uh, where the reference counter is going to come in. So let's uh, let's make the city data struct. So we'll call it Canada Cities, and we'll imagine we have other cities here but first we'll start with uh, Calgary so we have names vec so this will be calgary.name and then uh, histories will also be a vec of uh, Calgary dot uh, let's see city history so that is uh, so Canada cities it exists now whereas Calgary it uh, you know if you try to print out the calgary.name it is now going to say city name is and then we have calgary dot name and russ is going to say we know this you know it's moved um it doesn't own its value it's uh the value anymore and uh so we can't do that and uh one uh, one interesting thing is um so we moved uh we moved name in and we moved city history in so what about uh population um you know is the whole is the whole struct unusable or can we still uh, access population? So city, let's see, uh, let's take a look at that and see if it works. And interestingly, it does work. So uh, this is uh, what's known as a partial move. So when you move in, um, you know, part of a struct, this part is now not owned by it. And you also can't move the whole struct. You know, you can't move city in or do something with uh, the whole struct, but the rest of it stays alive. So it's, um, it's kind of like uh, it's half alive. It's still it's still useful in some places, and uh, that's just interesting to know because Rust is you know really strict, but it's not so strict that it'll that it uh, that it doesn't make sense. Like it it makes perfect sense to let you keep on uh, looking at population because nobody's touching it. It's a, it's a copy type. Uh, it should be totally fine. Um, and by the way, you can also see this in the in the compiler message so if you if you just want to print out the whole the whole city and it's not going to let us do it but uh, this time it actually uh, it gives an interesting reason so it says uh, borrow of partially moved value Calgary so it's it's letting us know that it's uh, it's partially moved uh, we didn't move the whole struct but um, but you know it's uh, we moved something inside of it and so we can't touch it as a whole so that is uh, how partial moves work, and so let's uh, you know let's solve our problem. So we are going to 
bring in reference counter and let's uh, let's put one around here and let's put one around here and you can see it's the same as like ref cell or uh, or cell you know you have uh, the thing it's containing something it's a uh, it's a smart pointer with something inside it and then here instead of um, you know an RC here it's a vec of RCs of strings and over here as well it's a vec of RCs of strings and so over here so city history instead of a string it is an RC new and so that's the same as the new signature we've seen everywhere you have something something new and then you just uh, put the thing inside it here it has to be a string so we do that and here as well RC new like that and then uh, so one interesting thing about an RC is it implements display so you can um, if you print out let's say uh, right now we're going to look at uh, calgary.name and it's going to uh, and it's going to that's right we didn't clone it yet so uh, so we made the new uh, reference counter and to let Canada cities use it we have to uh, first clone it so you do this like that so you clone it and you can see it's this uh, you know the same associated type signature that we're doing so we are um, so we're taking calgary.name and we are making a clone of, uh, of the reference counter so it's just uh, it's a super super tiny clone it's just uh, it's just a smart pointer so it's not like a uh, you know you imagine a string clone it can be like you know super huge but this is just cloning the pointer so all it's doing is saying okay here's one pointer clone that and now there's two pointers pointing to the data and so now it's not going to uh, you know it's not going to take it from Calgary anymore because it's uh, it's looking at it and saying okay we have these two um, two owners of the data and then it uh, it prints it out here and you can see uh, interestingly um, an RC it, uh, it implements display so um, it's it's going to you know if you have just a string inside it uh, it's not going to say uh, you know I can't I can't uh, print this out because it's a reference uh, a reference counter it's just going to uh, you know give you the string to display so it doesn't uh, it doesn't get in the way and you can just uh, print it with uh, with the regular curly brackets so that is um, basically how you use it uh, you start out with an RC new then you do RC clone of the reference and then in the next video we're going to look at the uh, you know the counters because right now it has two owners and how do we how do we keep track of that if you want to you don't have to because this is a uh, this by itself is working fine but you might be curious you know how does that work so we'll look at that in the next video